So in this section, we're going to watch a mental status examination with a young man named Carl. This is a general check-in. Uh, he was referred because of uh, some odd ideation and bizarre behaviors. So his vocational instructors and educators were a little bit concerned. A traditional mental status examination includes about nine domains. And the first three, appearance, behavior or psychomotor activity, and attitudes toward the interviewer or examiner, are always just inferred. In other words, you just observe the client and then you make some inferences about those three categories. The remaining six categories are usually assessed in a little bit more of a direct way. And these other six categories include affect and mood together, speech and thought together, perceptual disturbances, orientation and consciousness, memory and intelligence, as well as reliability, judgment, and insight. As I look at that list, uh, it seems to me that the client's speech is something more inferred or observed. I think you're right. It's usually inferred or observed more indirectly also. Although in the upcoming interview, I accidentally forgot to ask one of the speech assessment items, which is to ask Carl to repeat after me, no ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> so, well, no ifs, ands, or buts. Let's watch a little section of Carl. Carl is a 19-year-old young man who is a student at Trapper Creek Job Corps. He has a lot of adjustment struggles and eccentricities. And you'll notice that he also has some tick-like mannerisms. We've both met with Carl in earlier sessions, and we've talked about those mannerisms. So in this tape, you won't hear us inquiring about those. <laughs> 